Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Spurs Up Show, the best Gamecocks podcast on the internet. Today is Friday, October the 9th, 2020. On today's show, South Carolina travels to Vanderbilt tomorrow afternoon to take on the Commodores. I will give you guys my official prediction, how I see the game playing out. We've obviously broke down everything from key matchups to keys to the game, top storylines. I will give you guys my official score prediction. I'll lock it in for tomorrow's game as South Carolina looks to get their first win of the 2020 football season when they take on the Vanderbilt Commodores. We're getting everything. This is a podcast sent to you by our friends over at my bookie. Guys, it is peak sports season right now. We've got the Atlanta Braves, who I think just clinched, by the way. They are headed to the NLCS. Um, we've got Major League Baseball playoffs, though. The finals are still going on. College football, NFL. There is a ton to bet on. There's a ton to gamble on. And right now, that can only mean one thing. It is winning season. Winning season means doubling your first deposit. Winning season means free bets, super contests, survivor, and more. At my bookie, winning season's all about your chance to win big. Like I said, guys, you can bet anything. You can bet the finals, Major League Baseball playoffs, UFC, college football, NFL, whatever it is, anything and everything you want to bet, you can bet it. The craziest sports time of your lifetime is here. Guys, it's simple. Make your picks, win big, collect your cash. Invest in your intuition. It's like from hundreds of future bets, or you can bet games in real time with MyBookie's live betting. Put that big brain of yours to good use. Go to MyBookie.ag, guys. That's MyBookie.ag. Use the promo code GAMECOCKS and double your first deposit. Guys, new players get it to $1,000 in free play. So that means you go to MyBookie.ag, you use the promo code GAMECOCKS, you put in $500, they're going to match your 500 with a 500 free play. You put in a thousand, they're going to match that and give you a thousand in free play, guys. It's a win-win because guess what? When you play with that money, it's free play. If you lose, doesn't hit your bank account. If you win, you win that money. It's designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you bet. Thousands across sports wagers, props, and parlays await. Sign up now to bet with the best and celebrate your victory. Again, guys, that's mybookie.ag promo code Gamecocks. Mybookie.ag promo code Gamecocks. Your winning season begins today only at mybookie. Let's get it. There's the Spurs Up Show, as always. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Got a lot to talk about, a lot to go over as I give my official prediction. We're locking it in. The prediction for South Carolina Vanderbilt. Will the Gamecocks get their first win of the 2020 football season? I'm going to lock in my prediction. Give you guys my official score. Get that going. First things first, by the way, housekeeping honors. Congratulations, all the Braves fans, all the Atlanta sports fans. You Atlanta sports fans needed something positive to cheer about. The Braves are headed to the NLCS Probably going to take on the Dodgers. Probably going to lose again. But either way, one more small little golf clap. A little small golf clap for the Atlanta Braves fans. And like I said, Atlanta sports fans in general. My best friend, he's a Falcons fan. And I mean, I've talked to you guys about it before, but his life is abysmal right now. I know a lot of you out there as well are Atlanta sports fans. And I truly do feel for you. Because if you're an Atlanta sports fan and a Gamecock fan in 2020, and really just in general... Ooh, I feel bad for you. But again, we got a packed show, a lot to get into. I'm going to lock in my official prediction. South Carolina at Vanderbilt tomorrow, kickoff at noon. Very excited to talk about Before we get into everything, just a couple of housekeeping items as always. First things first, if you have not done so, take five seconds out of your day, whether you're on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, whatever it may be, take five seconds out of your day, leave five stars, leave your thoughts, your feedback, things you like, things you don't like, things you want to hear more of, less of. I go through, I read the reviews, trying to hit 500 reviews by end of season. We're creeping up on 330 reviews. So, guys, I do appreciate it. But if you haven't done so, take five seconds out of your day. Go leave five stars. Again, if there's things you want to leave critique on or criticism on, whatever, I like reading that stuff. Again, go leave it there. Also, if you haven't done so, and if you haven't, I don't know what you're doing. Hammer that subscribe button. Again, does not matter the platform you're on. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play. Also, social media. Also, YouTube. Be sure you're subscribed. You're going to get the daily notifications when the podcast drops and when all of the content drops. So, again, rate and subscribe. If you've already done so. I really do appreciate you guys for real, for real. Also, want to remind you guys, Overtime Bar and Grill Watch Party tomorrow Doors open at 11, kickoff at noon. I will be going live pregame and postgame, pregame 11 to 11.30, postgame immediately following 
the game. Very excited. We've been having a blast at these, by the way. The drink and food specials are phenomenal. The staff is phenomenal. The venue is phenomenal as well. We have the game sound on as well. If you're wondering about that, we do have the game sound on. We have the, we have the game, obviously, on all of the TVs. So, again, down the road from williams Bryce Stadium, I put the graphic up on social media. If you're in the city, you need a spot to watch the game, come on out. You don't want to sit at home watching your couch by yourself. Come on out. Come kick it with your boy, with everybody else, all the other Gamecock fans, and watch South Carolina take on Vandy again. That's overtime bar and grill tomorrow. Kick off at noon. Doors at 11. Kick off at noon. Pre-game and post-game show as well. And if you want to tune into that, if you're not in the city, you want to tune into that. Again, the Daily Crow pre-game and post-game show is going to be on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. So be sure to tune into that. Going to be a lot of fun as we talk about the game. Um, had a blast. Been having a blast doing it each and every single weekend. Looking forward to tomorrow as well. Also, one last thing before we get in the prediction. Very excited to announce, guys. I'm not going to tell you the name of it until Monday, but new sponsor alert. We have locked down a new sponsor for the football season and beyond. Very, very excited to talk about these guys again. I'm not going to give the name. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. We're finalizing everything right now, but uh, just want to say thank you for you guys for the support and the love and everything because without you guys, it wouldn't be made possible. But very, very excited. Very excited to partner up with these guys because it's something so specific to Gamecock fans. It's so... So niche, I guess it targets such a niche audience in the sense it targets literally Gamecock fans. Like this is something that every Gamecock fan is going to want. So again, just wanted to more so say thank you to you guys because without your support, your love, everything, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you. Thank you so much. And sending me in the weekend on some positive vibes. All right, let's dive in the prediction. South Carolina Vandy and the guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't think this one's going to take very long. I've been talking about this game all week. And, you know, immediately after South Carolina lost to Florida, I told myself in my head, you know what, that game at Vanderbilt, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a grind. You can't take anything for granted when it comes for, comes to South Carolina. And, you know, I just don't know if we're ready to get a big win under our belt or whatever it may be. And then the week kind of progressed. And you look back at the Florida game and, and you tried to pull some positives from it. You tried to see the positives. And there were positives. I mean, we've talked all week. There were positives. Kevin Harris, I think Colin Hill continues to play well. The offensive line played much better. Shy Smith's an absolute freak. On the defensive side, you have good young talent. And maybe I'm a fool for this, but I I know the secondary is still a major issue, but I'm trying to also factor in, hey, Florida's pretty damn good on offense. They've got one of the best offenses in the entire country. And as the week has progressed, obviously we did a full Vanderbilt preview yesterday, and, and I look into this game, and you look at Vanderbilt's roster, and you look at who they have this year. And I joked on the live stream yesterday, but I'll say it here again, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of serious that it's been hard. It's been harder this week than normal to talk on the podcast about the Gamecocks opponent. And the reason that is, is you look at this Vanderbilt team and you're like, who are their guys? I, I mean, who are you scared of if you're South Carolina? You know, Cam Johnson on the outside for them, that's going to be their go-to wide receiver. Solid option. Guys, he has 84 receiving yards in two games. And I know Vanderbilt has played Texas A&M and LSU, two very quality opponents. They've played two very quality opponents for sure. But their leading receiver has 84 receiving yards. I think their top rusher has like 150 rushing yards. And you have a true freshman, Ken Seals, at quarterback. Vanderbilt, folks, has scored two touchdowns. Two touchdowns in two games. They've scored 19 total points in two games. You look at them on the defensive side. A lot of experience, a lot of veterans there, but what is experience worth when it's experience they gave up 30.8 points per game a year ago? Um, you take a look at this Vandy team as a whole. I think they surprised us, surprised us all. We're very competitive in week one. Lost to Texas A&M 17-12 at Kyle Field, something I certainly did not see coming. I don't think any of us saw that type of performance coming from Vanderbilt. And then week two, I think you saw them come back down to earth a little bit. In Nashville, LSU really laid the wood 41-7. to They got a big bounce back win. So which of the two is Vandy? Are they that week one team that lost by five to Texas A&M? Are they that team that lost by 34 to LSU? Or are they somewhere in the middle? Again, on the South Carolina side of things, because I, I think this game is more about the Gamecocks. Because I, I don't think I'm making any, any crazy proclamation saying that South Carolina is the more talented team they're the better football team, and that they should win the football game. I mean, you're a 13-point favorite. You, you should win the game. It's very clear, very evident what people think about this football game and the two teams on the field. But, but you look at the South Carolina side of things, and the Gamecocks are, are in turmoil right now. I, I said that on the show Thursday, yesterday, I mean. 
The Gamecocks are in turmoil, okay? You've lost two in a row this year to open the season. I don't give a damn who they're against. You've lost two really tough games back-to-back to start your year. You've lost five in a row dating back to last season. Your head coach's seat, your head coach's hot seat is scorching at the moment. And like I said yesterday, those guys can say they block out the noise and it's, it's something they don't pay attention to, but you hear it, okay? You, you hear it for sure. But so Will Muschamp's seat is scorching. The, the pressure's on. The pressure's high. Even in this 2020 pandemic year, everybody's like, oh, he's going to get a free pass. Like, no, Yeah, that's, that's all good to say and everything in the offseason. But when you get in season, it kind of gets thrown out the window or at least pushed to the side a little bit. So a lot of things swirling right now. Not, not, it's not all positive vibes in Gamecock land. You know, South Carolina with questions it needs to answer. Who are your playmakers outside of Shy Smith still? Can Colin Hill actually go win you a football game? What about your defense? God forbid your secondary. Couldn't tackle worth a lick last week. But looking at this game, again, and I don't want to get my expectations too high. I don't want to set myself up for failure. Because like I told you guys, right after the Florida game, I told myself, okay, Vandy's going to be a battle. It's going to be a back and forth. For whatever reason, even though we've beaten them, what is it, 11 in a row, Vandy always plays South Carolina tough. They always play South Carolina tough. For whatever reason, most of the time, they do. Obviously, Gamecocks got a 24-7 to win last year, but you even look at that game. That was not an easy, like, 24-7 to win. Vandy scored first in that game. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, my God, here we go. Gamecocks obviously able to bounce back and get that big W, whatever. But Vandy's always found a way to play South kind of close. But, guys, I got to be honest with you. I just don't see it. <laughs> I just don't see it. You take a look at this Vanderbilt team, like I said, and I'm like, who am I afraid of? Who is Vanderbilt going to beat you with? And and I will say this. If if you want to spin it into a positive about South Carolina opening up with Tennessee and then Florida, and I guess you could say the same thing for Vandy, but for South Carolina, the Gamecocks have been battle-tested at this point. You know, they've seen two veteran quarterbacks in Jarrett Garantano and Kyle Trask. They've seen... You know, especially in Florida, probably the most explosive offense they're going to face all season long, right? And offensively, they've seen two pretty damn good defenses. If I'm a Gamecocks football player, if I'm one of these coaches even, I am licking my chops at the opportunity to go beat up on Vanderbilt, to take out your frustrations on Vandy, because Vandy is probably the worst team in the SEC. Picked by most to go... 0-10, honestly. like They're they're, they're the worst team in the league by far, I would say, for sure. And again, is South Carolina a perfect football team? Absolutely not. Do the Gamecocks have their issues? Absolutely yes. Are there still issues in the secondary? Yes. Wide receiver? Yes. But again, you take a look at this Vanderbilt team and you take a look at the matchups and you just take a look at the guys they have, especially especially offensively, especially offensively. And I just think to myself, who are we afraid? Like, how is Vandy going to score? Who are they going to go to? I talked about Cam Johnson, and I talked about this matchup yesterday on the show. I talked about Cam Johnson, him being kind of their their, their main target. J.C. Horn's going to eliminate him from this ballgame. There's no question. There's absolutely no question. You know, I think they'll try to lean on the running game, but if you're Carolina and you can stop the running, you have to feel good about your front seven against their offensive line. If you can stop the running game, I mean, Vandy's going to be asking a true freshman in Ken Seals to go try to compete and win them this football game. And and I just don't see it. Offensively, getting to the point, getting the prediction, I think offensively, this is a game where South Carolina, again, I think they're going to try to establish the run. I'd expect them to start fast yet again. I think they'll try to establish the run with Kevin Harris. I, I want to see Kevin Harris get at least, at minimum, 20 touches. I'd like to see him get 25 touches. Establish him truly, because we saw last week, I think Kevin Harris is fit to be the number one running back in this offense. There's no question. And again, when you look at this game between the two teams, this game is more about South Carolina and what they need to do 
versus Vanderbilt and what they need to do or even can do in this football game. Again, I don't think Vandy is very good. I don't think they have a lot to be afraid of in this football game. I'll be totally honest with you. And as tough as the start has been, as tough as this 0-2 start has been, and as frustrated as we have all been, there have been some positives to pull from it. From the offensive side especially. I think offensively, South Carolina will be able to click. I think they will run the football. I don't think they're going to do anything flashy or crazy because it is Vanderbilt, but I think you're going to see a very methodical approach, a very methodical attack, and it's worked for South Carolina. For the first couple of weeks, it's worked. Offensively, you've been able to do some things. Now, obviously, we hope offensively, you know, what I really hope is can this be the game where you can establish playmakers outside of Shy Smith? We know what Shy can do. We know what he can do. But do other guys get involved? Luke Doty, Dak Joyner, Rico Powers, Jakari Caldwell. Do those other guys finally emerge against an opponent? Maybe, I don't want to say lesser opponent, but a lesser opponent than Florida and Tennessee were. Defensively, I expect South Carolina to have an absolute field day. I I really, really do. Um, I know the Gamecocks have struggled. I've been tough on them. I've been harsh on them. But you're asking a true freshman in Ken Seals, to go up against that Gamecock secondary, that is not a recipe for success for Ken Seals. I expect South Carolina to get after him early, get after him often. I expect multiple interceptions from South Carolina secondary. Is this the Saturday J.C. Horn gets his first pick? Who knows? Who knows? Would love to see it. Was joking with somebody on social media. Let's just keep speaking into existence because, hey, at some point, it's got to happen, right? Like, at some point, we got to be right, you would think. But I think the Gamecocks defense, I think they're, again, they're going to be licking their chops at this opportunity to play somebody that's not named Florida or Tennessee. You finally get a bit of a relief. And again, I think this entire team is looking forward to it. Now, you've got to come in laser focused. You can't think, hey, we're going to roll our helmets out there and beat Vandy. They've played you tough. Upsets have happened. A straight up upset on a 13 point spread is not the craziest thing in the world. We've seen it this year in college football, too. But the one thing you haven't had to worry about during Will Muschamp's tenure is his teams being fired up, ready to play. Are they going to play hard for him if they quit on him? I don't expect to see a team like that. I think the Gamecocks come out pissed off, to be totally honest with you. I think they come out pissed off. I think they come out with a chip on their shoulder. Again, I'm expecting a very methodical pro- approach offensively. A lot of Kevin Harris will see some Shy Smith. And I do think some other guys will touch the football. I expect Colin Hill to be Colin Hill. Play a pretty standard Colin Hill game. Don't put the ball in harm's way, whatever, which is, again, has been enough for South Carolina to this point. And again, defensively, I truly expect this defense to come out fired up, have a bounce back performance, have their best performance of the season, obviously. I've got the Gamecocks, guys. I, again, I told myself after Florida, Chris, don't, don't trick yourself in thinking it's going to be a cakewalk in national. And I'm not saying it's going to be a cakewalk, but South Carolina is the better football team. I, I, there's just no getting around it. They're the better football team. They're the more talented football team. And I just, I think it's going to be a team that, listen, this win isn't going to salvage the season. It's not going to turn the season around. Like, I don't think anything crazy like that. But I think for one Saturday, at least, these players, these coaches, and this fan base are going to have something to feel good about. I've got the Gamecocks getting the win, guys. South Carolina 31, Vanderbilt 10. I, I just, I truly just don't know when I look at the roster, I look at the matchups, and I look at this game. I don't know how Vanderbilt is going to hang with South Carolina. Now, hey, if the Gamecocks come out and for whatever reason they're sleeping through a noon kickoff, they look uninspired, they turn the football over a couple times. It, it's kind of like what I said about Florida, the Florida game last week, but reverse for South Carolina. The way you get upset and you let Vandy into a game like this when they shouldn't be, give them a couple gifts, turn the football over. Let them hang around in the game to the late third, early fourth quarter. All of a sudden, damn, you're in a battle. Now Vandy believes they can win. And that was one of my keys to the game, get ahead, stay ahead. But again, I just think this is a South Carolina team that will come out happy to play someone <laughs> that's not in the upper third of the conference, if you will. I think they'll take advantage of it. Again, I think they're pissed off. They have a chip on their shoulder. And I really think they're going to take some frustration out on the Vanderbilt Commodores. Again, I got Gamecocks 31, Vanderbilt 10. And again, I know I may be setting myself up for failure. I I know 
I know I may be setting myself up to be heartbroken, to be let down, because, heck, I've been tempting the football gods all week. All week. I even said for the best bet, Carolina minus 12 and a half. I said, even Will Muschamp can't blow this. Boy, oh, boy, what did I go and say that for? I mean, now the football gods are kicked back, said, hold my beer real quick. But, no, seriously, I, I just think, again, South Carolina has just got so much more talent because no matter what, they're 0-2, sure. They've lost two heartbreakers, sure. Our coaches are bonehead, sure. There's still talent on this football team. There's still talent on this football team. I think that will show tomorrow. I've got the Gamecocks getting a big win, 31 to 10. So again, that's my score prediction. I'm locking in 31 to 10. South Ghana beats Vandy. Um, be sure to stay tuned to all the coverage, the content throughout the weekend. And guys, again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. As we go into this weekend, I just want to say again, thank you so much for your support, your love, um, you know, consuming the content, sharing the content, even whatever. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. The sponsors, the, the business itself, it wouldn't be what it is without you guys, so I do appreciate it. So, again, would love to hear your score predictions as well. If you guys want to shoot those on social media, wherever, would love to hear. How do you think this game's going to go? How do you think this game is going to turn out? I think the Gamecocks get the first their first win of the season, 31-10, to 10, but how do you see it going? So, going to be a lot of fun. Again, if you are in the city, come to Overtime Bar and Grill. If you're not, tune into the Daily Crow pregame show, 11 to 11.30, postgame immediately following the game. That is on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Guys, as always, I'm Chris Phillips of the Spurs Up Show. Appreciate you all tuning in. Go Cox, beat Vandy, and we'll talk to you on Monday.